The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team update for you guys. And yes, it is midnight Christmas Eve. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new promo added to the game. We've been talking about this for the past couple of days. It was revealed on Ryan915's channel that we would be getting a Brett Favre in Madden 17 Ultimate Team. And here it is, boys. So, okay, first of all, this is not the final Brett Favre by any means. This is the actually the one that you're going to get simply for logging on to Ultimate Team right now. It's kind of cool. You're going to get yourself a brand new 86 overall Brett Favre. Its attributes aren't that great, but it's honestly, it's really not that bad either. I mean, it's definitely a usable card for something that you get for free. So it's not too bad. Now, um, basically, guys, there's a whole bunch of different stuff in this whole promo. So I'm going to try and cover as much of it as I can. If I miss anything... Let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'm sure that I will miss some stuff, but what I want to do is go over how you can actually get the new Brett Favre. Now, the first thing that I do want to point out here, guys, is that there are new packs in the game. So if you go in here and you go to browse the store, you're going to see a couple of different things pop up. You're going to see the Favre pack there in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and that is going to give you one Favre highlight one gold or better QB, which I'm assuming is a, a gold or better Brett Favre, uh, two gold or better players, two silver or better players, and four more items. So you get a random like assortment of junk here as far as the Favre pack goes uh, with the possibility, I think, of pulling one of the elite Favres. That's basically the selling feature of that one. Obviously, we still got the pro packs here. They also have two bundles that can only be purchased with points, of course. Um, the first one, obviously, here being the Favre to sh or Sharp and Favre Jumbo Pack. Now, what this is going to contain is uh, a handful of those uh, Favre packs, I believe, anyway. Let me see here. Uh, it contains... Okay, so no, this actually, excuse me, does not. It contains a 92 overall Sharp, and then it contains basically most of the stuff that you saw in the previous Favre pack. But it's also going to give you 10 gold or better players, two other items, and four Favre highlights. So, um, basically, you're going to potentially need one of these bundles to actually get one of the Brett Favre's, the, the high-end 96 overall Brett Favre. I don't think anybody has it quite yet because there's a whole bunch of different things that you have to do to get it. And again, we're going to go into that. So there's a, a, a Sterling Sharp one here, and then there's also an Antonio Freeman one here. I think you can actually kind of choose which one of those that you want to do. Uh, both those guys are pretty good. I would personally say that Antonio Freeman's a little bit better, but basically the same exact bundle, but you get to choose which one of the legends that you want. You are guaranteed one of those players if you do purchase the bundle. So that's cool, but it is an expensive ass bum bundle, obviously, at 7,500 points. So let's talk about this a little bit more. Let's go over here and look at the sets because this is kind of the thing that's interesting here. Now, um, there's there's a lot of different things that you can do to get yourself uh, a Brett Favre. Now, first of all, you can get one of the Antonio Freemans or the Sterling Sharps by doing the Ultimate Freeze sets. And what you're going to need is 60 of those uh, Ultimate Freeze moments uh, that you were able to get throughout the weeks. So I only have, let's see here, like 20 of them, unfortunately. So I'm not anywhere near being able to get one of these cards. But again, if you don't have the moments, you can always purchase the bundle. So just keep that in mind to get Sterling Sharp or to get Antonio Freeman 60 either way. Now, let's go into the Brett Favre Master Set because this is what everybody is really, you know, looking for. To do this, to get a 96 Brett Favre, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to cost you a lot. I'm just going to say it up front. I mean, these things are starting to get expensive too. Any Ghost of Madden player, you're going to need five of those. Or, excuse me, six of those. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. You're also going to need five out-of-position elite players. The prices on these are starting to go up, guys. So if you held on to yours and you're waiting to sell them, this is the time to do it, guys, while this Favre set is new in the game. Now, there are also a ton of collectibles, a ton of them. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I don't know if any of these are particularly rare, but you're going to see these are not going for super cheap. I mean, this one's going for 8500 here. We'll take a look at one more of them just randomly and see what it's going for. But you guys can see here, what is there, you know, 4, 9, 13, 17... Uh, looks like there's 18, I think, if I counted correctly, of these uh, Favre. No, sorry. 15, 16, uh, looks like 20. Excuse me, I, I counted wrong. 20 of these Favre collectibles here. 
uh, and so you can go in here and see what these are going for. That last one was going for 8,500. This one's going for about 7,500. So it looks like the majority of them are anyway going to be going around that price, but you're going to need 20 of them. So add that up. Uh, you know, if each one's on an average of let's say 60,000 or 8,000, that's going to cost you about 160,000 just for the gold collectibles in addition to all of the elites that you need up here. So, I mean, we're talking about a ton of coins, obviously. And then what you're going to need is this 92 overall Brett Favre. Now, the 92 overall Brett Favre, as you guys can see here, cannot be purchased on the auction block. And that is because we believe, and I guess this hasn't been quite confirmed at the time of me making this video, but we believe that that's the one that you're going to have to get by doing solo challenges. Now, let's go into the solo challenges. So if you go into play solo challenges, you're going to go to ultimate freeze, and then you're going to see the frozen tundra. Okay, so this is the first ones that you're going to have to do. Now, the unfortunate thing is that you guys can see these are currently locked because you need the Favre chemistry at a minimum of tier one in your active lineup. Now, it, you, the Favre chemistry is activated with any of the Favre players. So if you have a Sterling Sharp, if you have an Antonio Freeman, that will work. Or you can actually do something as simple as just going back here and actually going to your starting lineup and uh, keep in mind, guys, I am looking at my uh, my Road to Red series. So this is uh, a series that I do on my channel with kind of a garbage lineup. This is not my real lineup. But if you go in here and you click on your quarterback, you can actually change that to the 86 overall Brett Favre. And you're going to see on the right-hand side there that we did activate the four chemistry, the Favre chemistry at a tier one. So now when we go back into the solo challenges, we're going to be able to start doing those solo challenges. Now, when you actually activate uh, and you start to complete some of these solo challenges, you're going to unlock various different things, coins here, coins here. Uh, but then you're actually going to start to get things like the two times frozen item pack. And that's going to get you closer to getting those Antonio Freemans and the, uh, the uh, who's the other one? Excuse me. I'm trying to think. Oh, Sterling Sharp. So you guys, you're going to see here, obviously, you're going to unlock a Favre pack at one point. Those things, remember, are going for about 40,000 coins. So not too bad. Uh, and you can do it for free right now if you just go in and complete the solo challenges. And these are all moments as well, by the way, guys. At least uh, I think all of them are. And again, Favre pack there. And then at the very end, you're going to get yourself a Favre item. Now, we don't know exactly what that Favre item is. It's probably not the 92, though. My guess is that you're actually going to need the 92, or you're actually going to get the 92 when you get to the really super frozen Tundra solo challenges, and you need a tier two for that. So again, you're going to need an upgraded Brett Favre in order to do that. Now, it's possible we haven't actually seen what you get at the end of this uh, this first set of Favre collectibles, or uh, solos, excuse me. You might get a Brett Favre item that gives you tier two. That's a possibility. Or you might need to have one of those Antonio Freemans or the uh, Sterling Sharps. So either way, you're going to need one of those. You're going to need to get it to tier two in order to actually start doing these solo challenges here. Uh, and then when you get to the very end, you're going to be able to activate and get the 92. We believe the 92 Favre at the very end of this. So that's the one that you need to complete the set for the 96 overall Brett Favre. Now. That is how you activate and get yourself the 96 overall Brett Favre unless you go in and you're going to actually be able to purchase the 96 overall uh, Brett Favre if you want to, obviously off of the auction house. However, there are also additional Brett Favre items currently in the game, and we're going to take a look at them here see if anybody has uh, pulled them recently. These things are pretty interesting because there are a lot of them, surprisingly, so I'm going to... Uh, go over here and search for Favre. Now, what's interesting here is that you're not just getting the 96 Favre in this, uh, I accidentally spelled it wrong. Uh, you're not just getting the 96 Favre in this whole set of things. You're actually also going to have the possibility of getting some of these other ones. There's an 87 Brett Favre. We're gonna go down here and go to buy now price. So this one, the cheapest one, 87 overall Favre. Now this is a Jets version of Brett Favre. Kind of cool. I, I actually really like that they're doing this and they have some different chemistries on them as well. Uh, you can see this one does not have the four chemistry. So if you purchase this one, it's actually not gonna be able to be used in those solo challenges. Kind of interesting, unless obviously you have the, um, the Sharp or the Freeman and then you could still use this if you wanted to. But uh, that's the, the interesting thing here. We have that Favre. We also have a 93 overall Vikings Brett Favre. 
Now, this one, again, does not have the number four chemistry. It doesn't have the Favre chemistry. It does have a deep throw chemistry, however. And this is an upgraded version, basically, of the Jets one. Kind of cool, 93 overall. Uh, there is also an additional one. I believe it's a 94 overall Packers one. And then there's also a, I want to say it's like an 89 overall. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Uh, but it's not up here, obviously. There is also an Atlanta Falcons, Brett Favre. So it's kind of cool, man. There's a whole bunch of different Favres out there right now. And rumor is that there are also limited time Brett Favres of the 96. Like basically like we would have on any other weekend for Brett Favre. Uh, there is those in the game as well. So that's interesting. You can actually pull those out of packs, it sounds like. So yeah, anyway, this is a huge complicated thing. Uh, I wanted to get on here and show you guys how you can make it happen, how you can get this Brett Favre in your life if you just have to have him. Uh, obviously guys, the easiest way of doing it is starting to purchase these bundles and you can actually start to activate those chemistries right away and have a good lineup and everything like that. Um, it's crazy, man. It's uh, it's going to be crazy to see exactly how expensive this farm ends up going for. Because I haven't seen any of them on the market yet. But I do expect that this thing is going to be going for quite a pretty penny here as it first comes into the game. So with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope that you learned something. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will talk to you guys again soon.